हेलो ग्रेट टेंथ स्टूडेंट सो नाउ वी गोइंग टू सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज 4.4 सो इफ वी सी द एक्सरसाइज 4.4 ऑफ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इट इज गिवन टू यू फाइंड द नेचर ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन एंड इफ द रियल रूट एग्जिस्ट फाइंड देम सो लाइक क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इज गिवन टू अस लाइक 2x स्क्वायर माइनस 3x प्लस 5 इक्वल टू 0 सो नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड रियल रूट्स आर नॉट so we can compare with the general equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so here the a value is how much 2 b value is how much minus 3 and c value is how much 5 so to find out the real or not so we have to find the discriminant d d formula is b square minus 4ac so our d value is b is what minus 3 square minus 4ac a is like how much 2 and c is how much 5 so if you solve it it will be 9 and uh, 5 into it is 10 and 10 for the is 40 so here if you see if we subtract this so we are getting here minus 31 so here d is less than 0 so we'll write equation as no real roots no real roots because d is coming less than 0 now see the second part here in the second part it is given to you 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equal to 0 so again we compare with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 a value is how much 3 and b value is how much 4 root 3 and c value is how much 4 so now d we can calculate d formula is like b square minus 4ac so if you calculate d it is like minus 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 a c so here if you calculate you know if we take the square of 4 it is 16 and root 3 is 48 it will come 48 minus 4 for the 60 uh, for 16 into 3 48 so here we are getting d equal to 0 so when d equal to 0 it means that real and equal real and equal roots and in the question it is given to you find them so when real and equal roots so we can easily find them if you notice how can we find them if you see equation is given to 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 because real and equal roots we can easily find see you can write this term like root 3x square and here you can write 2 square and here you can write 2ab 2a is how much root 3 x and b is this so it is see easily express a square uh, b square minus 2ab 2 a a term is this and b term is this so this has become a formula for uh, root 3x minus 2 whole square formula getting so your two roots will be like uh, one is this and other will be this all right now you can easily find the root like x minus 2 equal to 0 here uh, root 3x minus 2 equal to 0 so your root will be like 2 upon root 3 and x equal to 2 upon root 3 so you can easily come to know these are the real and equal roots now see the third part third part is given to you uh, 2x square minus 6x plus 3 equal to 0 now again you can compare with the general equation like ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so a value is 2 b value is how much minus 6 and c value is how much 3 so you have to find d d formula is like b square minus 4ac so b is how much minus 6 whole square 4a is 2 and c is how much 3 so it will be like 36 and it is like 4 into 2 is 8 and it is 24 and now you will get the value 6 minus 4 is how much 2 and 3 minus 2 is 1 is 12 so now uh, because d is coming greater than 0 so you will write real roots what root real uh, roots now we can uh, easily solve by using a Siddhachare formula so Siddhachare formula is like minus b plus minus root d upon 2a the Siddhachare formula we have so x minus b is how much minus 6 you have and here you have d is 12 so and 2 into 2 so you can easily explain this will be 6 plus minus it will be 4 root 6 it will come 2 root 3 out and here we have 4 so 2 you can take common 2 into 3 is 6 and root 3 2 i have taken common so it will cut 2 will come here so your one factor will be like 3 plus root 3 upon 2 
and other will be 3 minus root 3 upon 2. So these are the factors. So this is a way to find uh, how to check like real root equal roots and how to factorize it. Now quickly note it down everyone. Now uh, we can go to the question number second. It's very simple only. Quadratic equation is a very scoring chapter actually and easy also. One time you can practice thoroughly. And all the NCRT questions are very important. Because basically in CBC, NCRT questions are more important. Alright, now if you go to the question number second here. And the question number second is very simple. Now it is going to find the value of k for each of the following quadratic equation so that they have equal roots. Up now we have to find the value of k and it is already given the question. The particular equation has a real and equal roots. So uh, real and equal roots when d is given to u equal to 0. So uh, equation is given to you 2x square plus kx plus 3 equal to 0. Now you can compare ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. A value is how much 2, B value is how much K, and C value is how much 3. All right, now in the question it is already given equal roots. Equal roots. Now you have to give the question given. So we know the condition. For uh, equal root, D equal to is 0. So now D equal to 0 formula is like B square minus 4AC. And we have to compare with 0. So B value we have K whole square minus 4 a is how much 2 and c is how much 3 so it is like k square 4 to the 8 8 3 24 so k square equal to how much 24 and now we have to take the square root of 24 so you already know how to factorize like 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 so you can uh, come to the your value k will be uh, plus minus 2 root 6 so this is your k value now second part is given to you uh, kx and x minus 2 plus 6 equal to 0. Now if you multiply it will be like kx square minus 2kx plus 6 equal to 0. Now compare with uh, ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. a value is how much k, b value is how much minus 2k and c value is how much 6. And now again we have to compare d equal to 0 equal roots and it is given to the question the equation is equal root so we can apply this condition d equal to 0 so d value is how much b square minus 4ac equal to 0 b value is how much minus 2k whole square minus 4 a is what k and c is about 6 so if you take the square it will be like 4k square and it is 4k uh, sorry it will be like uh, 6 for the 24k so uh, what can we do from both we can take common 4k so it will be k and 4 6 are 24 all right so from here this will go to 0 1 to get k equal to 0 i mean 4k 4k equal to 0 and k minus 6 equal to 0 so one value you get k equal to 0 and other you get k equal to 6 so these are the value of k quickly copy it down everyone now we can do uh, question number third of exercise 4.4. Um, now if you see in the question number third 4.4, it is given it is possible to design a rectangular mango grove whose length is twice its breadth and the area is 800 meter. If so, then we can check it. So it is given like आपके पास क्या rectangular क्या है हमें mango grove के लिए करना था एक rectangle हमने ले लिया. All right and it is uh, he is saying if, whose length is twice its breadth uh, whose length is twice its breadth so you consider that your breadth is x hai. so length is coming twice of it and area is given to you how much 800 meter square so he is asking you can check it is possible or not so we can check it so firstly here we can write let the breadth breadth be uh, x meter that is given and length is already given in the question it is twice of twice its breadth the length be how much 2x and now uh, area is already given to you so according to like area 
formula is what like ln to b so area is already given to you how much 800 length is 2x and breadth is x so it is given to you 800 is equal to 2x square so if you find the value of x if you divide it so you will get x square is equal to 400 and if you take the square root of 400 so we already know 400 is the square of what 20 into 20 so x value will come like plus minus 20 so we will take only x equal to 20 reason being uh, length can never be negative so yes it is uh, possible so if this breadth breadth is this and length will be how much twice of x it means 2 into 20 and that will be 40 so yes it is possible so it is possible it is possible to form this now number fourth now if you see the question number fourth it is given in the following situation uh, sorry is the following situation possible if so determine their present age the sum of the ages of two friends is 20 four years ago the product of their ages in year was 48 so those those are their age both of them have kept you have kept them 20 so you have to let the age let the age of one friend let the age of one friend let the age of one friend x years x years so other friend age other friend age will be how much 20 minus x all right 20 minus x years ab na question mein keh raha hai what do you think four year ago four years before so iski age four years minus kar denge and dusre wale ki age se bhi hame kitna minus karna hai four years ago ye keh raha hai four years pehle dono ki age ka product if we talk about the product it is coming how much 48 it is coming how much 48 now we have to calculate this it is x minus 4 and it is 16 minus x equal to 48 so if you multiply it will be like 16 x minus x square minus 64 and plus 4 x equal to 48 all right so here we have minus x square and this will be like plus 20 x and if i shift this value 48 this side so 8 plus 4 is 12 carry 1 10 and 1 1 2 so now if you take the common negative so this will become negative 10 and this will become 112 equal to 0 and the negative sign is already go to 0 so with general equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so a value is 1 b value is uh, minus 20 and c value is given to 1 1 2 so we know discriminant formula is like b square minus 4ac so here uh, b value is like minus 20 square 4 a means 1 and c is given to 1 1 2 so it will be like 400 minus if you multiply it it will come 448 so from here we calculated d value is coming minus this which is less than 0 so if it is less than 0 so not possible no real roots will be there so it will write not possible in this question it is asking this situation is possible the so answer is not possible quickly note it down everyone now uh, we can move to question number five last question of this exercise all right everyone so now see the question number fifth now in the question number fifth it is given it is possible to design a rectangular park of perimeter means like a rectangular park is given to you a b c d and it is given to you perimeter peri meter is given to you how much 80 so you already know perimeter formula is like 2 l plus b is how much given to 80 so it means that l plus b is given to you how much 40 so if i let let the length be x if i consider the length let the length be x meter if i consider length will be x meter so x to so breadth value will be how much breadth be 40 minus x so how much breadth will come like 40 minus x understood everyone now in the other part it is given and the area is 400 meter so now according to the question area uh, area is given to how much 400 meter square have you already know area formula is l into b now here the length is you have x 
and breadth you have 40 minus x so now we have to check the factors are possible or not so 40x minus x square equal to 400 so if i'm shifting this value that side x will be positive minus 40x and plus 400 equal to 0 so yes factors are possible because we know 20 20 the 400 so here we'll write like we can write like this 20 plus 20x plus 400 equal to 0 so x square minus 20x minus 20x plus 400 equal to 0 all right so from here if you take common x so it will be x minus 20 20 we can common so it will be like x minus 20 equal to 0 so x minus 20 and x minus 20 equal to 0 so x equal to 20 will come if we compare with 0 one step i have written directly so uh, we come to know yes it is possible so now we understand uh, length will be how much if you put the value of x the so length will be how much 20 and uh, breadth will be 40 minus 20 so it will be 20 meter so it is possible so here your chapter is over so my expectation from you all you make sure whenever you practice the exercises just you know practice it thoroughly do at least two three time practice and all the ncrt questions are very important for the board examination and this chapter is very scoring okay thank you